Welcome back to Google Foods, everybody. I want to thank Audible for sponsoring this video. Today, I am preparing the ramen burger. You know, it looked awesome on Instagram when I saw it, but does it taste good? I'm curious to find out. Check it out. This is the ramen burger. When I saw this in Instagram, I was like, oh my God, I have to make that. And I was super curious to find out if it tastes good. It looks incredible, but does it taste good? Well, I'm gonna show you how to make it and we're gonna find out if it does. Check it out. The first thing we need to do is boil some ramen. And if you are wondering, this is the cheap version that you find it in any supermarket. To be specific, this is the one I used. I just followed the instruction on the packaging and once it was cooked, I strained all the water. As you can see, I was left with perfectly cooked ramen. Now, in order to make buns, we need a binder and I'm using two raw eggs. All you have to do is beat them up and add them to the mix. Now, please know that I'm not using the packaging that comes with the ramen. I'm only using the noodles. And obviously to mix, I'm using my tiny whisk. You know where that comes from. In order to make a bun, I'm using this container. It is a very similar size of a regular burger. We also need another container to go on top to press the ramen down. And for that, I was able to find this one. Now here's how I made it. After trying it for about 15 different times, and it's always getting stuck and crumbling on me, this is the best method I tried. I laid down clinch paper on both containers, pressing the edges down as best as I could. Only adding oil to the container will not do its job. It will get stuck and damage your ramen bun. So if you don't want to experiment 15 times like I did, this is the best way to do it. This will ensure the bun will come out perfect every time. Now, after cooking these five different ways, one of them was in the oven, pan fried, and so many others, the best way I found how and with the best texture is to steam it. By steaming it, you will do two things. You will cook it gently and keep the noodles nice and soft. And it is the perfect way to do it. It takes 10 minutes to steam the ramen. Once that's done, all you have to do is remove it and see your work of art. And here I give you the perfect ramen bun. After doing this so many times, I found out that you don't have to do it the same day you're eating it. You can make a bunch and it will last in your refrigerator for four days. After the fourth day, you will start getting way too dry, but at least you can make it the day before and have a big party later. And one last thing, you can keep the packaging that you made it on and save it just like that. For our sauce, it's pretty simple. Remember exact amount in the description down below. I started off with ketchup mayonnaise, which is sweet soy sauce, followed by some ponzu sauce, a tiny bit of sushi vinegar, and I finished it up with hoisin sauce. Now all there's left to do is mix it well and my sauce is done. For my first topping, I chose bacon. And as you know, the best way to cook bacon is on a baking sheet and a cooling rack. Just lay it down nice and flat, stick it in the oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit, and they'll come out perfect, crispy, and flat every time. For the second topping, me and Angel love eggs. And as you can see, I'm gonna be using these beautiful quail eggs. The funny thing is that a lot of people have trouble opening them, including myself. I used to use a knife and just chop it all out. And 90% of the time, I just rip everything apart. But then I got one of these cool tools and made my job a lot easier. It actually made me use quail eggs a lot more. As you can see, it is a perfect fit and there's nothing to it. Just chop it up and you have a quail egg perfect every single time. In order to make a nice presentation, I decided to fry them up on a ring. But you really don't have to, this is for presentation purposes only. But it gives a nice round shape to fit the burger. Talking about burgers, I'm using these Wagyu patties. As you can see, the marbling is incredible even with the packaging. Now obviously, even though I'm using Wagyu patties, you can use any kind of meat that you like. The way this patty comes will not fit my ramen bun, so I decided to make them the perfect size. The only advice I can give you is that when you're making your own patty, do not press it too much. You want to have some crevices inside of the meat so that the fat inside can render down and make your burger taste even better. If you compress it too much, you'll be basically making meatloaf. But now a little word from our sponsors. You know, we use Audible all the time, right, Angel? Yeah. If you're unfamiliar with Audible, they have the largest selection of audiobooks on the planet. You can listen on any device anywhere. Right now, I'm listening to George R.R. R. Martin's A Game of Thrones from the Song of Ice and Fire series. As you know, we are huge Game of Thrones fans. And while we prep the food, we like to listen in and get our Game of Thrones fix. Yeah, sometimes we start filming way too late because somebody wants to prep for too long. 
Anyway, you guys know Audible has the largest selection of audiobooks on the planet, and now Audible members get more than ever before. Each month, Audible members get three titles of their choice, one audiobook, two Audible originals, exclusive sales, and 30% of regular priced audiobooks. There has never been a better time to experience Audible. You can try it for free for 30 days by visiting audible.com slash googlefoods. So it's audible.com slash googlefoods? <laughs> <laughs> yes, or you can text Google Foods to 500 500. Thanks, Audible. Now back to the video. But now that I have my patties ready, all there's left to do is toast my ramen bun in some olive oil and cook up this meat and make some beautiful ramen burgers. But I say it is enough talking and it is time to cook it. So let's do it. All right, everybody, we have our beautiful ramen burger. You see, you asked me for ramen, I made your ramen burger. Yeah, I was not expecting a <laughs> burger today. He's been asking me all the time, Guga, can you make me ramen? I want to try real ramen. And uh, well, for, for steps by steps. Yeah. But this is a ramen burger. Baby steps, I guess. <laughs> Are you ready to try it? Let's go for it. Obviously, man. there is no green stuff for you. You're welcome. You gotta keep the green stuff away, bro. What? <laughs> What I've heard about the ramen burger is that it's very messy. So when you bite on it, it's going to be a mess. Wait, wait, the ramen itself or like the... I don't know. They, everybody says that it's very messy. So let's just go and dig in for it. Just My first time, just like you. Are you ready for it? You can oh. grab it, huh? Mine has the cross section. Oh, it's juicy. I think next time maybe the sauce should go on top of the burger. <laughs> it's all over the bottom. It's all over the bottom. It's all, right. all right, cheers. cheers. Not too messy. Man. It tastes like it tastes like ramen with a burger. It's good. It's good. <laughs> it's I like real it. good. It's big as hell. It's big. <laughs> I actually I mean, I'm going again. This oh, this one fell apart. Oh man, that's not good. <laughs> I'm going again. I gotta break it down. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Oh wow. I just ate just the ramen so I could get closer to the beef. It tastes good by itself. You should get a little bite. Just the ramen. Mmm. It's like crunchy on the top. Yeah. But also very soft in the middle. I like that. Oh, man. You know, it's something that you see a photograph of and then you want to give it a try. I gave it my best shot. I'm not sure if I did it 100% legit. Well, I think I did. It turned out good. The bun is good. Bun. <laughs> which is the ramen. The ramen is good. It holds its texture mm -hmm. nicely. The wonderful thing about it is that you can do a bunch of them, save it in the refrigerator, and then when you're ready to cook, just sear them nicely on the pan and cook them up. That is good because the thing that takes the longest to make is the actual bun. If you have never tried the ramen burger, please give it a shot. I don't think you will be disappointed. I'm not, I'm surprisingly very happy with this. And anytime I have like a special party or something, I definitely make it for people to give it a try because I've never seen anything It'll be like, like it. the, the, oh man, did you go to that party? I know. Oh, the one with the ramen burger? Exactly. Yeah. That's unique, everybody. And it tastes really, really good. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. <laughs> Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description. Down below. <laughs>
my bad. <laughs> that's how good it is, you know. Some countries, you know that they say that if you burp, that's a good thing. You know that? I don't really think you should put that in the video. I don't man. think I should put that in the video either. <laughs> Whether it's a good thing in a country or not, I don't really think you should do it. When you go to college, this is all you eat. <laughs> that won't hurt, man. Why? I'm a college student, bro. But that's not all you eat. Because I have you. Wow. You know how to cook? Yeah, but you know, sometimes you gotta you gotta, you gotta make something fast, man. Like that time you did a one dollar steak? That's important. That's important. That's important. That was nasty, bro. But it was important. Did it taste good? It was important, Guga. <laughs> it was important. Okay? <laughs>